Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. Well, it's 3.33 on the clock, baby. Talk about a synchronicity. Love it. It's Saturday here, but by the time you get it, it's probably going to be, what, Sunday, Monday, maybe Tuesday. Tuesday on the clock, but I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tune in. These are timeless readings, so whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so. And I'm happy to have you. All right, so let's call in spirit. Let's get this party started, baby, shall we? <laughs> spirit, guides, and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective. One that brings healing and hope and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I open myself up and channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, spirit, for all of your love and your guidance and your blessings. Amen. All right, so... The song that was on the radio was <laughs> Don't Kill the Messenger, baby. It was Scorpions. Yeah. Rock you like a hurricane. <laughs> Dear God, we're going down the rabbit hole. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Yeah, that's the song, baby. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane crazy so <clears throat> it is what it is baby what can i tell you and then what is this one on yeah and cinderella hot break station okay rocking you like a hurricane but hot break there we go this is the theme i suppose but let's see what spirit has to say to confirm or deny this these are collective readings any energy any sign energy does not have a gender but if i do say he or she please excuse and forgives and flip the roles as you see fit. It could be saying you and meaning a person. It could be saying a person meaning you. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me to into Y O U. So enough said. Let's get going. Let's spirit come through. And no on the floor today, like the last time. It was like the whole deck, every deck on the floor. Please, spirit, not today. Don't ruin my sanity. Bitch. All right, Spirit, what's the overall energy here? Besides the heartbreak, besides the rocking you like a hurricane. Spirit. Spirit, come through. Are you tired today? Oh, my God, Spirit! And it goes on the floor. All right, onto the floor, onto the deck here. I tried to replace you as one of them and play a... Play a play a baby. All right, so this person was a player. And they tried to replace you with somebody else. But now they want to text you. Okay, Spirit, give me more on that texting. What's that about? Spirit. I want to text you. Don't you dare, Spirit. Because this is true love. True love. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could have it in your chart. They could have it in theirs. And believe it or not, you have more than one astrological sign in your chart. This could be past, present, or future energy if I have not mentioned that. So take what resonates, baby. And if the shoe don't fit, or quit. They're looking at your photos. Yeah, Mem Remembering you reminiscing about the time when they were with you financial abundance you might have financial abundance or they're seeing you as financially abundant and betrayed so you were betrayed or they were betrayed or both of you betrayed take what resonates leave the rest go into the second half of the deck see what that has to say to add to this Mary, give me some more information here what's this betrayal about Spirit, what's this betrayal about? But they're looking at you in a very positive light. They want you. They do want you. But this might be a reason. This might be the betrayal here. Look at this. The song on is Bon Jovi's In and Out of Love. Oh, God. 
Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So they might have been a player who was in and out of love, not non-committal and not really giving you much, but giving pieces of themselves to here, there, and everywhere to each person. Yeah, in and out of love. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that might explain it. But Spirit, give me some more information, please, to confirm or deny this. But it's left them heartbroken, as the song from Cinderella says, you know? Because it's down to you. It's what they were in the past, in and out of love. But now, all they want to be is in love with you. Lack of trust, and that's another thing. Maybe you don't trust them, or maybe they had that lack of trust. And that's why they couldn't come at you in a positive way. It had to be a sexual way. Five, five, five on the clock. Yeah, spirit is working on your person in a third party. So they could be with a comic or they put you in a third party situation with somebody else. Take what resonates. Yep. In and out of love, baby. It was all about the thrill of the chase. They had many options and they went in those directions. I speak to you through music. <laughs> Hello. They're speaking right now, man. It ain't good. They want to rock you like a hurricane. What is that? Heartbreak through Cinderella and now in and out of love. Trying to explain themselves to you. Tried to make you react. Maybe by putting you in third party situations. Maybe by putting you in competition with other people. Strong boundaries you set up, though, against this person. You weren't going to have that. You weren't going to play that with this person. You're either in or you're out. You're not in and out, you know? Like you tell your kids, either get in or out, but not, not this in-between nonsense. Make your choice. And that's maybe the choice, the boundaries that you set up with this person. You're either in or you're not, but I'm not going to play this game with you. And that's the boundaries that you set up against this person you weren't going to play with them and they know now that they can't come at you like that good feel but in the past it was gangbusters but i think i'm thinking that they learned a whole lot of lessons a whole lot of lessons yep. especially with their karma right now what's on is kicks cold blood and that's how they feel they feel about their karmic very cold-blooded person a very manipulative person a person that puts them through their paces they've certainly not had it easy being in this relationship with this karmic who is cold-blooded maybe cold towards them spirit need some more information please about this thank you this one wanted to come out but i'm not gonna let it go again Give me some more cards, please. Thank you. All right, so it's a page of wands. Wands is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Person who wants to, a confident person, they want to contact you. A phone call you. Yeah, they want to get, they want to. But this is an immature energy, though. Page. Page isn't a king. Page isn't an emperor. So it could be in a very charged sexual way that this person wants to come towards you and contact you. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they're very lonely. Yeah, very lonely. Going through a lot of setbacks, financial hardships. Past, present, or future energy, they could be going through that now. But they find you financially abundant. They look at you as their as successful. Here, give me some more information on this place. Here we've got three of cups, cups is water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Yeah, they want a reunion with you. They want to celebrate with you. Tell me more, Spirit. What's happening here? Thank you. We have the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, they had an unconventional lifestyle. Maybe they're more towards not, you know, being married, not settling down, not being... I don't know. It's something like that. Or maybe they're, in a, they're more of the feminine energy. 
you know, the nurturing type, and they pick people that ha have more of the masculine energies. Take what resonates at a female. Six of Cups, Cups. Um, I already told you what Cups is. So, yeah, nostalgia. They're living in the past and remembering you, and they want to reconcile with you now. Seven of Cups. They had lots of options. Hello. Lots of choices. Yeah. But no direction, really. No real direction. All right, Spirit, give me some more information on that. Just options. Yeah, there's created obstacles. Six of Swords in reverse. And instability. A lot of conflict in their life. Kept them stuck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is the sword energy. Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, a lot of gossip and insultingness about the connection with this person. What this person was doing, who they were doing it with. Kind of like the joke to their friends. Maybe you were the joke to their friends. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Well, you have their wish granted, though. You have their ultimate fulfillment. They see prosperity with you. King of Wands. So went from the Page of Wands to the King of Wands. A leader in control. A very bold person. They're passionate. See? Passionate. Ace of Swords. They want to communicate with you. They want victory with you. They want a new beginning in this connection. Ace of Wands. New beginning again. Double confirmation. New passions. They find you so sexually attractive. There's something about you that just charges this person up. And they just can't let you go. They just can't let you go. They want to come towards you. Thank you, Spirit. But they've been in their fears and their anxieties. And remorse and sleepless nights thinking about it. But just being very burdened and in regret. And not happy. Deep unhappiness, almost mournful. That they walked away from you or that they let you go. The star, because you're their star. You're their wish fulfillment. They're trying to manifest you back into reality towards them. Maybe you're not in the same area as them. They can't get you as easily, but they're trying to manifest you to come towards them. Yeah, because you're their star. You could be a star. You could have uh, your own platform. You could be on social media and people are looking up to you or people are viewing you and that type of thing. Not only them, but other people. Because look at this. The bottom of the deck, Empress. You're the Empress. Fertile a good mother, somebody that gives birth to ideas and they're successful. They see you as abundant and successful. You are their ultimate happiness. The pinnacle of success they find is with you. All right, so let's get a few more cards here about this spirit. Give me a few more cards on this. But where they're at, they're feeling stuck. They're feeling trapped. They're feeling like they can't move forward. They're feeling like they can't be abundant with this person. That there's no success with this individual like there was with you. They don't find the same fulfilling happiness with them that they did with you. And it's disappointing. It's, it's just... I don't know. It's like... They're in their regrets so much. They think about the conversations you had. And they're watching you now. They realize what a treasure you were. You know? What a treasure you were. And they didn't see that at the time. But they're seeing it now. The fear of it is that it's too late. Happiness. Yeah, they're hoping their happiness. They see that with you. They just make them smile when they watch you. Something about you. Yep. Obsession. They're watching you obsessively. They, it's like they can't keep their eyes from you. But there's a retaliative karmic that's threatening them to punish them and seek revenge if they try to leave. It's left them in this roller coaster, ups and downs, all this chaos in their life. They're searching for you everywhere, hoping to bump into you, run into you. They're watching you online. They were in denial for a long time that this connection meant anything to them, that they could get over you. But they're lost without you. 
they're lost without you. They just don't feel the same way about this comic, and they never will. You're it. But look, they could be in a legal system. They could be going through the court systems. They could be paying out past, present, or future energy for whatever family or situation that they had going on with this comic. Yeah. Interview. They want to talk to you. They want to have a conversation with you. Because they just can't stay away from you. They want to find a way to get back into your good graces. Because they feel like they're really... The boundaries are set up against them. Maybe spirit put up strong boundaries because of their toxicity. That didn't come up, but it feels like that. There's a toxic element to this person. Their obsessions with you, you know? You know, here it goes again. Child alimony for support. This is what the comic's punishing them with. Look, the drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos everywhere they go. It's not enough anymore for them to stay stuck based on family or children. If they have children, they still want to come towards you because they're going to explode. They are. They can't stand it anymore. They're in a rage over this stuck energy that they can't come towards you because there's so many waves of emotion. They rock you like a hurricane, baby. That's no lie. But they've been living in this, you know, deep regret. Because why? Because dirty little secrets done dirt cheap. You know what I mean? They've done all these things. They've done the most. What does it say? In and out of love. You know, not staying in a connection. Because they just didn't want to commit to that. They didn't want to commit to anybody. But when they met you, that changed everything in this person's life. And in their mindset, too. But what traditional values or family was all about. And now it's like unconditional love. That's what they have for you. They're done with playing the game with different individuals. The only person they want is you. But here we go again. Settlement, agreement, compromise. They have to settle this with the karmic. Or they want to compromise with you. Take it how it resonates. But they're being threatened by this karmic. Embarrassed even. You know, uh, what this person's going to do. If they leave, they walk away. If they haven't already, magnetic. They can't stay away from you based on their feelings. Their feelings are way too strong. Here, rats. But yeah, this is a really difficult situation that needs meditation, cleansing, spiritual guidance. There's a lot of different psychic attacks that are going on in connections now with the with these twin flames, with these soulmates in separation cleanse your space cleanse your energy you both need to do this because there's a lot of attachments negative attachments that are being placed on twin flames specifically and if this is your soulmate or you believe this is to be true then i would recommend cleansing your space and getting uh spiritually woke man removing any negativity in your environment because this is what's keeping this situation stuck. 1818 on the clock. Karmic interference. But you're their wish fulfillment. You always were. They want you and only you now. It's all down to you, my friend. Let's get a, a card. One more card here. The Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And let's see if we have any cards here that can give us some more healing, hope, and understanding and guidance from Spirit. Spirit, can you give me some guidance, please? understanding but this is why you need to focus on yourself and continue with your spiritual ascension and not worry what this person is doing your person is doing behind closed doors because they need to settle their own karmic debts you can't do it for them it isn't going to allow you to do it for them this is a necessary healing on a person's part it really is. They need to heal and get woke on their own. 1919 on the clock. And they will. They will get the point. Spirit's working with them. Spirit is guiding this. You two in particular. This connection. Alright, Spirit. Give me some cards. A few more cards to end it. And I believe you went through the heartbreak of separation from this person. But it's all because they needed to heal. And maybe you did too. The River Queen. Yeah, letting go. Making this flow naturally.
because this connection is going to come together in a very natural organic way if you don't force the issue if you don't force the narrative and your person may want to come at you quick but that's not how it's going to play out it has to be in divine timing there's a flow to these things and forcing it isn't going to change anything this is nothing there's no card there it's just the card in the initial introduction. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. All right, so the Swan Queen. Yeah, there's a transformation going on between you and your person. Intuition. Maybe even mirroring, but patience needs to be here. That's what it's saying. Patience needs to happen. For this transformation is happening. It might be slower than you suspected or even want. <laughs> Both of you. The Eagle King, the big picture. Yeah, there's a big picture here. It's angelic help, just like I mentioned. There's angelic help in this connection. But it's going to take patience and time. Yeah. Yep, yeah, cycles of growth, natural divine order. This is happening in divine order. And it's very frustrating. Get it? Because look at on the, on the last song on the clock here. I mean, on the radio is Cherry Pie. She's my cherry pie. <laughs> He's very, I'm saying he, but it's a masculine energy. He's very charged when it comes to you. And he wants you really badly, but it's going to be in divine timing. And it's not going to be as fast, obviously. Clearly, it's, it hasn't been quick, and you know that. But it's going to happen because there's a bigger picture here. You two belong together, and you have a journey that's going to be taken together. But it's going to take patience. This transformation is slow. There's a letting go and a natural letting go that has to happen. Like a natural organicness that has to take place with this. It cannot be forced or pushed. No matter how much you want each other. Because there's a mirroring here. I know this. You want them. They want you. But it has to happen in divine timing. It cannot be forced when it's not ready to be, you know, ready to happen yet. Because then it's just... 22, 22 on the clock. I mean, otherwise, it's going to go off the rails. You know, they're not if they're not ready to change, then they're going to put you through the karmic toxic swill of their choices, and you don't want to do that either. So let this go naturally because it is going to happen. The you know spirit is saying that they are behind the scenes orchestrating this. So no matter what the karmic thinks that they've gotten them or that they're going to keep them, that's not exactly accurate it's not happening they may happen for now but there's cycles and ebbs and flows there's a natural law here and, and the law is it's basically that they belong with you and they were taken off their path with you because of comic lessons debts that they needed to pay to the universe but now they're done their cycle is ending and they're going to be going on to a new cycle and it does not include the karmic but it does include you you are a part of that equation, 23, 23 on the clock. So have patience, have faith. Okay? Faith, trust, and pixie dust. That's what's necessary here. Thank you so much for joining me on Empress Aries 88. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Until the next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.